In this challenge, you'll make an interactive poster using Makey Makey or Microbit to share information about a topic that you've learned about recently. Here's an example using an image of the water cycle. Evaporation is when the sun heats up water in rivers, lakes, or the ocean and turns it into vapor. Water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid forming clouds. This is called condensation. Draw a diagram or create a poster of any size on your topic. It can have any combination of pictures and text. Use a conductive material such as tin foil, copper tape, or brass fasteners to act as buttons for your poster. To connect the Makey Makey, use the alligator clips for each button that you plan to use. Then attach the corresponding wires to the buttons. Now let's code your project. Go to scratch.mit.edu and start a new project. Go to the events drawer and take out four blocks that say when space is pressed. Use the drop down menu of each block and change the button from space to a directional arrow for up, down, right, and left. Now we need to record our information. Write a script about what you want to share in your poster. Use the Scratch Sound tab to record your audio. Create all the sound files that you need. If you need more than six, Makey Makey has small pin wire connectors on the back so that you can add even more buttons. Check and make sure that each button is assigned to the correct sound file. You can make any changes that you need in your code. Evaporation is when the sun heats up water in rivers, lakes, or the ocean and turns it into vapor. Water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid forming clouds. This is called condensation. If you have a micro bit, you can do the same project with up to three sounds. If you're using a Chromebook, you'll only be able to use a micro bit if you're able to install the Scratch app from the Play Store. Visit scratch.mit.edu slash microbits for instructions on setting up the micro bit to work with Scratch on your device. If you're using the Scratch app for iOS or Android, you'll have to transfer the hex file from the Scratch website to your microbit to help it connect to the device's Bluetooth.
How could you take this further? What else could you use as buttons? Other than paper, what other items could you make interactive in your home or classroom? Be sure to share your projects with us.